my thoughts on community. Wow. Even before Corona, I thought my ideas about community were a little bit different than the average person. Um, I'm all over the world, as I like to say, every day. I like to use WhatsApp and Skype and various other uh, social media platforms that allow visual and literal communication with others in other places, in other locations, in other countries. Um, I like to do so every day. So Corona is only allowing others, in my opinion, to uh, get a little bored, uh, get a little curious, or play around a little bit more with their technology and what's available. We see grandparents uh, connecting in a new way with their grandchildren because they can't make uh, physical contact. But this is something that I often say on my podcast uh, almost daily, that most people underuse their internet that they're paying for uh, and their devices as it relates to communicating, reaching out to other people, uh, and stepping outside of your comfort zone. Um, not always uh, being a magnet only to people who think like you or look like you or, or speak your language. Um, I like to use Google Translate at least three times a day. Um, I'm using and utilizing Google Translate to communicate with other people uh, in other parts of the world. Uh, so my idea of being black and being African and being trans-African and being pan-African requires uh, the active demonstration of communication with people in the diaspora. Uh, so I'm always uh, loving the opportunity to reach out to community, to connect with the divide, the divide, with the diversity of community um, that we really are and have access to now at our fingertips.